Hello, my name is Michael, and welcome to my lab for HUD. Okay, so I'm just going to jump straight into things and start talking about the cool things I added first. Um, so I uh, basically redid a lot of the base movement mechanics in the game, and then also had to kind of rethink how I was handling event handles and stuff like that. So the main kind of system I added was a stamina system. So that comes with a stamina drain, a stamina regenerate, all that good stuff. And then just this is going to be used for determining whether or not you can start regenerating stamina. So yes, let's talk about the event ordering list first. So I was using event ticks and I kind of want to use them in a couple places in the same blueprint. And I re realized you can't really do that. So you have to create these custom events and kind of make a call order to them. So I was using that event tick for my object pickup loop that I have at the bottom over here. Um, yes, so I switched that out for a custom event and now it's going to call that on an event tick normally. Okay, and then stamina events and regenerate stamina. Stamina events, of course, is also checking to see if you're running, dashing, and jumping. A little bit of a spoiler for what I'm about to get into, but yes. So that way, when you go into Regenerate Stamina, it will have the most updated version of this because this is higher in the call order than this. So let's talk about Regenerate Stamina first. So you have a Stamina Pool, you have Maximum Stamina, and whatever your current Stamina is, right? And it's checking to make sure that your Stamina is not currently in use, and if it's not, it's getting that kind of tick from the Event Tick, and it's just going to add two Stamina to your pool, clamping it on the Max Stamina, and all that good stuff. So it both has to be, stamina has to be less than your max stamina, and it has to not be in use. So the clamp is always just to make sure that it doesn't go over. So let's talk about sprinting first, because sprinting was the first one I attempted, and I kind of changed the way I started handling it after I got some more experience. So once you are sprinting, of again, this comes from input actions, so you can actually change the key binds, so you're not hard coding it to be left shift in this case. So yeah, when you press sprint, it's going to just... Uh, immediately set it to is running, it's going to change your walk speed, and it's going to do this drain stamina kind of custom event over here, where it just does, again, a clamp with minimum being zero, subtracting two from your stamina, and it's just going to, again, set that to be running false if you're, if, if you cannot, if you're less than zero, right? So if you are out of stamina. So I kind of didn't like the way this was handling things before having it set up into two events. Um, this is my first attempt at it. Or, yeah, my first time using a system like this. In my dash, I'm kind of more happy with the way things are set up. So again, it has this kind of making sure you have that minimum stamina, stamina avail available. Wow, a lot of tongue twister words. So five to do a dash and to, you're not actively dashing. So on the input press, it does that check, sets it to true, and then it's going to grab your player velocity, and then it's going to multiply that by 3 along the x and y, not the z axis, because I don't want you going up and down if you're like a mid-jump and you dash, I don't want you like f uh, flying away. For now, just x and y. And then it's going to remove 5 stamina from your ma uh, stamina pool, and clamping that with the max and min being 0 in the max stamina. And then it is on a one second delay, so that way you have a little bit of a cooldown to the dash, you can't just spam it. And yeah, so that will be that. Uh, showing the modified jump, it's kind of very similar to how the dash is set up with the is jumping. And it's basically just going to not allow you to jump if you either don't have the stamina for it or if you're actively jumping. And then it does the same kind of withdrawal from your stamina pool over here. And then also, since it's just kind of using the built-in jump mechanic, um, this is a do once because I noticed that if you were to hold space, it would kind of eat your entire stamina pool instantly, which wasn't cool. So I set it to a do once thing and it resets when your character is, uh, the stop jumping is like being called through the completed action. It's just going to reset the do once thing. So that way, you don't have to worry about wasting your entire stamina pool by actually holding down space. Okay, that sums it up for the third person player character blueprint. 
just retouching the movement plat moving platform from last time with the interactions is I also had to make a change to the event list because I wanted to use an event tick in two places and notice I obviously can't do that. So this is why I'm using an event list. I was using it down here with the button moving with the platform and then I wanted to use it back up here because I realized if I created a moving platform and set it to zero, my intention was for the platform to still move uh, because there was no switches needed. Um, but that wasn't the case because it actually was only doing that check on an activation or a deactivation of a switch. So I kind of just have some uh, additional move check from the event tech every 0.2 seconds. I may lower that. I don't, you know, it's not affecting my game uh, poorly right now, but. I'm trying not to use event ticks in places because I don't want to kind of, I don't know, I just don't think that's good practice. And then the main menu, you know, that's kind of pretty standard from lecture, all that good stuff. So I'm going to get that started so I could just start demoing. So I know part of the homework was to actually demo a, that I could make a health bar, but I opted for stamina just because I felt like it kind of fit my game a little bit better. But it's using the exact same kind of system that Paul went over in lectures. So I'm hoping that's okay. But yes, as you can see, I'm using the kind of bridge as to show like how fast I'm moving because the poles kind of make it easy to tell how quick we are going. Holding down shift, I start to go faster and it's eating my stamina. I press Q. It does like a little, little leap forward it can do side by side. It, this is a little easier to see in the first person view. I could dash backwards. I could dash to the side. It's very cool. And then jumping also does eat stamina. Okay. So this is my second take of this. So let's see if I could get this in the first try. So I kind of set up a little bit of a jumping puzzle just to kind of demo all the movement mechanics and the stamina usage and all that cool stuff. So I'm hoping I actually kind of get through that this time okay nope not gonna happen today so i hope you enjoyed the video i hope you enjoyed the stamina system um i would love to show you know i'll, I'll show what i kind of set up just for the sake of things existing yeah so the whole goal was i was going to come over here and come to these moving platforms that don't require any switches this one's kind of going back and forth this way, this one's going side to side, and this one's also going in the same direction as that one. And the goal was to kind of jump from here to that one, jump from this one to this one, this one to this one, and get back over to the open land. But uh, my parkour skills are not doing me well today. So I will call it there. Thank you for watching. I'll see you next time.